Hello guys, welcome to the third section. In this particular section, we will basically talk about the system exploitation. Now, if you remember in the beginning, I told you that there are lot many types of penetration testing. Either you will be doing the penetration testing against the Android app or web application, or it may be a particular operating system itself. Now talking about this section, we will basically explore the third type of penetration testing and that is system exploitation. Now moving ahead, we will try to hack the Windows 8.1 and then we will also try to hack the vulnerable virtual machines. Now in this particular video, we are going to talk about the introduction to Metasploit. Metasploit is one of the most powerful and widely used tool for penetration testing. In this tutorial, I will take you through the various concepts and the techniques of Metasploit and I will also explain you how you can use Metasploit in real-time environment. In the very first section, we have set up and installed the Kali Linux into our VMware player. Now talking about the Metasploit, Metasploit is available in the two editions. First one is the community edition which is completely free and second one is the pro edition which has lot many features as compared to the community edition and it is also a paid service. So in this video, we will basically use the Metasploitable community edition that is pre-installed in the Kali Linux. Now, if you want to use the Metasploit on your Windows PC, then you can download the Metasploit for Windows from their official website called rapid7.com. Now, let me open up the terminal and the name of my terminal is Terminator. If you don't have it, then you can download and install into your Kali Linux. The command to install this terminal is fairly simple. Simply use apt install terminator and that will install the terminator in your Kali Linux. Now let me increase the font size so that you can see it clearly. Now for opening up the Metasploit, we will simply type in your msf console. Now there is one more thing that I want to tell you guys and that thing is Metasploitable is not only the exploiting tool but it is also a tool where you can perform the information gathering. In Metasploit, you will be able to see the payloads, exploits and the auxiliaries. Where auxiliaries are the scripts that are created for performing the information gathering against a particular target. Now here you can see guys, if you will type in here help, then it will give you all the commands of the Metasploit. But before we really go into these commands, let me show you the architecture of Metasploit. I'll right click here and click on split horizontally simply head over to the user share and then metasploit framework now here you can see guys we have lot many files here now we will go into the modules now inside the module directory we have lot many modules first one is the encoder second one is the nobs third one is the payloads fourth one is the post fifth one is the auxiliary and the sixth one is the exploit now here comes the most important thing. These auxiliaries are the scripts that are used for performing the information gathering and we also use them to check if the target machine that we are trying to hack is vulnerable to some sort of vulnerability or maybe some sort of exploit. Now here we have the payload. A payload is the code that you are going to execute on the target operating system in order to get a reverse connection. So whenever you will be hacking out any operating system, then you will have to make the use of payload. Now talking about the post directory, this directory contains all the post exploitation tools. Say for example, if I have hacked into the Windows 8.1 with the non-administrator rights, and now I want to escalate the privileges to get the administrator rights. So with the help of the post exploitation tools, we can do it. Now talking about the encoders and the noobs, we will talk about these things in the upcoming minutes. Meanwhile, let me tell you about the exploit. Let's go inside the exploits directory. Now here you see guys, we have multiple exploits available. Here we have the exploit for the Android, the exploit for the Linux, as well as the exploit for the Windows PC. Now here you can see guys, we have the directories of other operating system as well as the other platforms of which we have the exploits available in the Metasploit. So let's go inside the Windows directory. Now talking about the famous exploit, we should have the exploit of the SMB. Here we have it. These are some of the zero day exploits that are available for the Windows PC. All you have to do is to use these modules and we will be able to get the access to Windows 8 or maybe Windows 7. 
we will talk about all these things in the upcoming video. Meanwhile, let me come back to the Metasploit. Now here you can see guys, we have used the help command and by the help command you can see the commands and the functionality of them. Like here you can see the module commands. It will display the information about one or more modules. Search command is used to search for the module. Show command is used to display the parameters of exploit or maybe any sort of auxiliary. Now we will talk about all these things in detail. Now as soon as you start the Metasploit after a long time, then first thing that you have to remember is you have to update the Metasploit framework to the latest version. For that you have to make the use of command called MSF update. So hit enter. Now here you can see guys, MSF update is no longer supported when Metasploit is part of the operating system. Now this build is the part of the operating system. You can run the MSF update for only those builds that are not the part of the operating system. So we have to manually update the Metasploit framework. For that we have to type in here apt update. apt update will update the repositories. And then we will install the Metasploit framework from the updated repositories. Now let's say if you are performing the penetration testing against an operating system and you have find out that there is vulnerability exist in that particular operating system and it is zero day. It means you will use that vulnerability and you will be able to get the access to the vulnerable operating system. Now you know the name of that vulnerability as well as the exploit. So now how will you search that exploit in the Metasploit? For that you have to make the use of command called search search. Now here we want to search for the exploit called ms08 and its type is basically the exploit. Let's hit enter. Now here you can see guys we have got all the exploits that are related to the ms08. Now similarly if you want to search for the auxiliary then you can modify this command as search name is smtp and type is auxiliary now here you can see guys we have all these auxiliaries available for the smtp you don't believe guys but there are like 70000 exploits available in the metasploit package similarly if you want to search for the post exploitation tool then how will you do it all you need to do is to just type in your post and now I want to search the post exploit for the windows and that's how you will be able to get the post exploit for the windows. Now here you can see guys if you have compromised a windows PC then you can even disconnect the Wi-Fi of that windows PC. Not only that there are multiple things that you can do. Here we have the webcam as well. It means if you will run this post exploit, then you can even open their webcam, take the pictures of the victim. So that is pretty much everything for the introduction to the Metasploit. You will get to know more about the Metasploit in the upcoming videos.